Hey everybody, welcome back to uh, Takes a Longhouse Me. Uh, this week I'm going to cover stuck fermentation. Uh, this is the traditional that I made in one of my other videos, and it's just stuck. We're stuck at it's like 1.4 or 1.042, and it hasn't gone anywhere in almost a week and a half, two weeks. <clears throat> I started this March 29th, it's now April 18th, and like I said, it's hasn't gone anywhere. I have a couple other meads that I started just a few days after this that are pretty much done fermenting and you know getting ready to go to cold crash and stuff like that. Let's settle out. Well this one's stuck at like I said 1.042 and it hasn't moved in at least a week. Almost a week and a half, two weeks. Uh, so what I'm gonna do, I uh, used D47 originally so I'm just gonna add some more D47 into it, which we have here. Uh, everything, this is just some fresh water and I pull a little bit of the must out to put into it. So that way when we put our D47 yeast into it, it has a little bit of yeast into it. It already had, like I've, we started it with go firm, stuff like that. We've had added nutrients to it, uh, Fermato. Uh, we've added all four editions of it. So what we're gonna do is Take a little bit of the must, put it into a nice clean cup, add a little bit of water just to kind of help top it off so that way it's not over, has too much sugar to you know stress the yeast out and we're gonna add another gram of D47 into it. So I got my scale here, tear it out real quick and we're gonna put another gram, if I can get this thing open. All right, so. All right, so we're at a gram right there. All right, we're gonna take, take our yeast, throw it in there. Uh, again, all this here has been sanitized. Always, san always sanitize after I use everything, and again, right before I use it. So this has all been sanitized. Just gonna stir this up just a little bit, kind of get everything in there. Now again, there's several ways you can do it. I like to make sure, because I, I've been having a lot of problems with D47, so I wanna make sure that it's not necessarily just the yeast that's causing issues. <clears throat> so I'm just gonna mix that up, put that off the sun, clean that. So mix it up, we're gonna let it sit for about 30 minutes, and then once we can actually see that it's fermenting, then we'll put it, put it into our musk. Uh, so here in about 30 minutes, I'll bring you guys back in, we'll add it in. Alright everybody, it's been about 30 minutes. Uh, I can see that the yeast is kind of waking up. Uh, one way you can tell when you're looking at it is when you're looking inside uh, to tell if your yeast is active or not, you'll start to see like a little, like little firework butt uh, burst inside. Uh, they're small, tiny, uh, you'll see maybe some small tiny little bubbles and stuff like that. So I know that this yeast is good right now. Uh, I'm not sure why it stopped at 10%, uh, which is a 10 point or 1.04442. Uh, but again, you know, we're gonna make a video out of it with stuck fermentation. So again, uh, this yeast is active. I can see it. Uh, probably won't be able to see it in the video, but you see kind of like a little cloudy on top. Looks like a little firework burst when you're watching it. Uh, that's the yeast getting activated, acclimated, stuff like that. So since we're gonna be at, since we took some of the must and added some water to it, uh, you need to take out almost equal amounts of uh, your must from here because you don't want to overfill it. If I was just just pour the water in there, even though I did take some must out, there is w additional water in here which would just push this over the top. So what we're gonna do, just cause I don't wanna add too much issues to it. Again, everything's been clean. You can take a turkey baster, just fill it up. Pour it on in. 
Oh, and that's the issue. Ta-da, Mead Volcano. Now you know, y'all get to laugh at me. Not what I wanted. <laughs> well, I guess we get to deal with it now, so. Oh, that was fun, that was fun. So you want to add it slow, you just don't want to shoot it all in there. Oh, good times. So, you know, it kind of stirred itself up. Everything we just added in probably just came out, but we're gonna give it a shot. So you just wanna mix this up a little bit. You're gonna get the yeast off of the bottom, the lease. So just stir it up nice, slow, because you don't wanna create a mead volcano. But you do wanna get everything mixed in. You don't wanna to add too much oxygen because we already do have alcohol in here. So if you do uh, add too much oxygen into it, what ends up happening is you can uh, convert your mead from mead to vinegar. Oh, good times. Well, hopefully I, everything we put in there didn't come all out. One thing I did forget to uh, mention, you wanna degas it. Um, uh, degassing is where we basically take your degassing wand, softly, you know, mix it up so that way you get a lot of the CO2 out. I did that earlier. Uh, I'm guessing not good enough. So now y'all get to laugh at me. I told y'all from the beginning, it's funny to everybody else. It's not funny to you when you're sitting there staring at it. <laughs> so anyways, put this back on, put our airlock back on. We're just gonna let it sit. Uh, of course, with all the CO2 that's off gas off from it already, you, you can tell that the airlock's bubbling. Don't take that right off the bat as, hey, it's good to go now. No, because a lot of CO2 is coming out of the solution. So what you wanna do, we'll, and we'll just leave it. What you wanna do is just let it sit for a little bit, give it about two, three days, take another gravity reading, and see if there's any change. If there is change, then your refermentation has picked up and you're going, you're good from there. So again, make sure you all uh, subscribe, hit the like button, come over to the Facebook group and uh, join that. Uh, go ahead and uh, laugh at the video when y'all see it, but uh, stay tuned for more. Thanks.